70% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed and uh, yeah, can't stress it enough. <laughs> Subscribe please. Now, um, if you feel like you want to, please do, though, for real. I'm gonna head out the Chinkapin walking trail today. It's pretty good sights out that way. Do a little filming. Got my sidekick with me as always, Miss Alice. Was working on some merch today. Uh, was thinking about putting out a t-shirt at the very least, with the intro logo that I use, the chimpanzee with a little LD on it, and uh, I like the design so far. I probably need to get a bigger file to make it work right. The DPI is not as high as I would like it to be. Topic for today, people trying to drag you the fuck down. Don't let them. Pound your fucking chest and let them fuel you because Fuck them, that's why. I don't want to get into too many specifics, but I'm at that point in my life right now where I'm like, you either let them fucking whoop you or you fucking stand up and show them that you're better. I hate to sound cruel, but don't let people control your life. The old adage I heard, you are the only person that can make you have a bad day. And if that ain't the fucking truth, I don't know what it is. Sure, you can have things that happen out of your control, but it's ultimately up to you how you let that make you feel. I got away from my Google Maps here. I wasn't paying attention. I was going off on a rant. I guess really what I'm trying to say is don't let people make you mean. Don't let people control who you are. Anyway, it's enough of that shit. So has anybody got any ideas as far as merch or anything like that? Like t-shirts? I guess hats? Should we do a hat? Should I even be thinking about merchandise right now? I don't know. Oh, this video will be coming out on Memorial Day, huh? I just thought about that. Okay. Pretty sure a lot of people had their cookouts this weekend. I went to one of my buddy's house. Great group of people up there. Got to hang out with. I hadn't met a few of them, but they seemed to be really fucking cool, actually. Which is it's no surprise, because the guy that had to cook out, he's awesome, dude. Of course, he's got awesome friends actually some of the folks that helped me put these bars on. Well, I say helped me put the bars on, but they did all the fucking work while I sat around and drank Josh's beer. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm not sure if the... I'm not sure if uh, the guy who did the work wants me to put his name online, so I'll refrain from doing that, but you know who you are. I appreciate it, man. Quite a bit. You're a great dude. Oh, today's Sunday. Oh wow, I got a lot of editing and uploading to do tonight. I'd like to get these videos up by 12 in the morning, but uh, I'm not always able to do that. Like this last one I put out, uh, the editing took so long. I, I edited for like two days, three days, and still didn't get it done in time and was trying to upload it while I was at work one morning and it failed the upload, so I had to come back home and resave the file which takes like two or three hours and then upload it again which also takes two or three hours so you never know what's going to happen as long as i get them out on mondays though I'm, I'm happy with that but i'd like to get it out at a set time every day i hear that helps with the algorithm i don't i don't think i have a well enough established channel to even worry about that at the moment or should i worry about that the most now because i don't have a well established channel i don't know enough about it. I need to do a little bit more research. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's 55. What the fuck are you doing? I'm probably the most patient person you'll ever meet. So I've had a couple people on the channel uh, talk about meeting up, going riding. They gave me an idea. My schedule rarely allows me to do anything 
I was thinking maybe we could do like a, a meet and greet type thing where we have this one big ride somehow raise money for charity or something like I just would like to do something good. What would we call it? We'd like Little LD Moto Vlogs Extravaganza. I don't know. I don't know what we would call it. it would, we could do something like that though. I've always wanted to have like, we, I remember going on rides when I was a kid, like toy runs and stuff or food drives. Uh, in the bands I was in, we always did some kind of fundraiser for like breast cancer awareness or continued that. So why not keep doing it, you know? I think it's a great idea. Great, I think it's a great use of your time to help someone else. I just don't know what exactly we would do it for yet. Where in the hell is my turn, man? I think I know where we're going. This trail up here has got a lot of cool sights. This big stone gazebo that I want to show you, that is amazing. It's free, you just take off, go walk and take your dog, whatever. That's uh, Allison showed me this place because we took Biggie out for a walk one day. I have to introduce you to the dog, but Biggie is this massive 80, 90 pound German Shepherd that we have. He's a big goofy bastard is what he is. I love him. So yeah, basically what I'm wanting to do other than inspiring people to get out and go ride, and I'd like to do something good and put good into the world because there's so much fucking bad in it right now, man. I don't want to sound altruistic and fake because I know there's so much virtue signaling going on in the world that's really not genuine. I, I literally would just want to bring people together, do something good with their time, you know what I mean? Instead of all this infighting. And as little of an impact as it would be, it'd still be something, you know? I believe this might be the entrance into Chinkapin right here. His family, husband and wife, went around the world and turned it into this massive, beautiful place. From what I understand. Oh, we're getting ready to pass it. All right, we'll turn around. There seems to be a lot of people there. You okay? Sorry about that. All right, we overshot it, but we made it back. Uh, Chinkapin Trail coming right up. We'll see you in a minute. think somebody's a turtle and you say are you a turtle if they are are you recording <laughs> i am i'll block the sound not talk about the turtle and it's so fun to be <laughs> yay can you get to see the inside of the extravagant house and I'm like, look at that side. Getting some sun. Maybe baby looks like he lost his tail and he's growing it back. Doesn't it? Looks really short. Mm -hmm. Make a fake one. A fake monstrous? Yes. 
Oh, you know, the fake moss. Oh, Kate Moss never thought to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because she was too malnourished and deprived. To carry a heavy moss dress. To think of it, because you said why she never think of it. Plus, she didn't do that. Old power station. What's up, little guy? Probably was a squirrel. Oh, clearly. Squirrel's got a huge playground out here. What? So that squirrel's got a big ass playground out here, basically. Yeah. Don't do that. It looks like an S or like a Oh, it is. All right, folks, that's all she wrote. Shinkapan Walking Trail. I hope you enjoyed the sounds. Check back next Monday. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. The notification bell. Say goodbye. Bye bye. See you next time.
got the road. 